Please take a moment to take a deep breath and get yourself settled, get yourself comfortable. If you're sitting up, you can straighten your spine, relax your shoulders. Breathing into that, relaxing down. And if you're laying down, you can just do the same thing, just relaxing your body. You bring everything in, straightening, and then just letting go and relaxing. And we're gonna do that just a few more times. Breathing it in, and letting it flow. And as we're breathing in, we're bringing all of the energy together in our bodies and then creating a channel within us for it to move through us. If there's any stuckness, breathing into that and letting it flow, letting it move through you. And now in this state, let's just start to sink into our yin energy, our yin vibration. It's our relaxed state of being, our receptive consciousness, our inner darkness, the void that's within us. Because as we sink into this place, it's like sinking deeper into the ocean that the further that we go, the less light there is. But we can feel the subtle movements, the vibration of the water all around us, moving us to and fro. And this is all within us. This is our emotional energy, deep, deep in our sacral, deep in our belly, deep within us, where the light don't shine, and what a sacred space this is, because it is entirely intuitive. That the pressure of our emotional body moves us left and right, up and down. And often there's these undercurrents, there's these currents of emotional energy moving through us deep in the depths of our yin energy feelings or intentions, happiness or sadness, joy or sorrow, that leads us to our responses and our reactions, the intentions that we lead. But a lot of these pressures, this energy, this movement of this water sometimes comes from outside of us because energy is always moving into and out of us. And our yin is the place where we are receiving. And so from this place, we learn to receive by listening to our emotional body. What is it telling us? What are we feeling right now? Are we doing really well? Are we not doing very well? Are some things good and other things are challenging that we're, we feel the weight pulling us deeper? Maybe there's some fear, of some sea monsters down in this dark place that only comes out when we're especially triggered. And we breathe into that knowing that we're safe here in this moment, free to explore ourselves, our yin, to fullness. And then something amazing starts to happen because as you continue to sink deep into the depths within you, you start to see that below you, where you have been sinking into, Far off in the distance, you see what looks like a star. And you see that star. And you start moving towards it. Or perhaps you always were. And that star starts to get bigger. 
because it's coming towards you. You angle yourself to start moving towards it head first. If you were falling on your back before or feet first, now you're diving towards it head first. And then you realize that you're actually flying upwards. That this deep inward sinking is now an upward spiral towards this light before you that is growing bigger and bigger. And it shines so bright. And you breathe into this, you breathe it in, receiving with your yin the bright luminous whiteness of your yang. And the whiteness, the light starts to overtake you as it grows closer and closer and you start to cross into a world of pure luminous. You become luminous yourself. You start to glow as the light surrounds you and engulfs you and leaves that dark world behind. And the one became the other, you see, that you entered just like a passing door from one state to another, and now you are glowing. And you breathe into this energy that ripples and radiates from you. An exuberant and beautiful light. And it's in you to give. It is you to give. And you just want to give. It's yours to give and it's exciting to give. The feeling and sensation of giving fills you with happiness, with peace, and with pleasure. And in this, you are bright white light. And then you start to give it. And as you give it, you watch it flow out of you. And as it flows out of you to the world all around you, the space within you that was once light is replaced by more dark. That naturally, almost as if like a Taurus, lightness goes out and darkness flows in until you have within you a balance of the light and the dark together, circulating together still moving from one state to another, like how the darkness changed into light, the light flows out, and you receive more dark, and the dark becomes light, and it circles through your body of consciousness. And you feel that flow and you become that flow. You embody it from your emotional body to your mental body and back and forth. When we communicate, we use our word. Our word is a reflection of our mind in the lower frequency, one that is physically available to communicate through our bodies. The word is the blending and the harmony from the mind of God. So is the word of God. And that is within us to be. Now with this spiraling energy we have through our body moving now emotionally and mentally we're going to continue to extend and descend those two vibrations up to the very top of our head and the bottom of our feet. 
to link them with our fire and with our earth. To connect emotionally and mentally our yin and our yang, physically and spiritually, to create a bridge so that we may be the bridge from the mind, from the Godhead, from the highest levels of creation, from the soul, and bringing that through our bodies, through our minds, through our hearts, through our emotions, and into our actions. And just breathe into this as you feel and see and witness a connection being formed between the top of your head and the bottom of your feet and flowing and rippling out into your hands that you may fully perform the actions that are moving through you from the divine. And you are activated and you are balanced between your yin and your yang you can move the energy between them with grace and with ease. New things come into your field. You can think about them and you can feel into them and you can think about your feelings and you can feel into your thoughts. That spiral white into black into white into black actively exists within you that you may resonate these vibrations your thoughts and feelings into something pure and something sacred and then live that give it to the earth and give it to god to spirit to your loved ones and to the world that we may become resonators for a higher consciousness and way showers for the world to know and see what it looks like to live fully in truth, love, and authenticity. And with this next breath, take all of that into your body. You can tighten your body as you breathe it in. And then relax, release it out into the world. We're letting it all go. Because at the end of the day, your magic comes from your ability to do with all of the energy that is moving through you actively, that these words and this meditation and this holy sacred prayer will only mean something if it means something to you. If you form meaning with this vibration and use it and utilize it in your life. Much like the parable of the lute, recall that a musical instruments, vibrations, the tuning of the lute too loose or too tight will cause the instrument to not play music. And so you are invited here in this state that you hold right now to ground in and activate within you a tuned state of being tuning yourself to your perfect balanced vibration, not too tight, not too loose, not too lazy, not too overworked, just the right amount of both so that you too may be an instrument of the divine to play beautiful and sacred melodies into creation. So we breathe a few more deep, deep and sacred breaths, taking in not just air, but prana, 
intentional will force, divine energy. And harmonizing with it as we gently and slowly bring ourselves back to the place we never left, into our fullness, that this vibration is like a seed that is planted in your body. And as a seed, which likes to grow, may be nurtured and nourished by your actions, by your intentions, that your body may grow into the tree of the emotional meditative energetic seed that was planted here today. May it grow on good soil within us all. And we say thank you to Great Spirit for always being there with us even if we were unable to feel its sacred presence for existing, for creating, for bringing us exactly where we need to be in each and every moment, and for bringing us together here today and onward through time and space, that we may do good work together and that through us, God may save the world. And we gently start to wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, loosen up our shoulders again. Move our necks roll our heads around and when it feels right you can start to open your eyes and come back to being present here in this moment <laughs>